Today marks 15 years since the start of the blockade of the Gaza Strip. Our humanitarian colleagues say that largely due to the blockade, poverty, higher unemployment rates and other factors, nearly 80 percent of Gazans now rely on humanitarian assistance. More than half of Gaza's more than two million people live in poverty. Nearly 80 percent of the youth there are unemployed. This year, humanitarians need a $510 million to provide food, water, sanitation and health services to 1.6 million people. The appeal is just currently 25 percent funded. The UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine, UNRWA, needs an extra $72 million by the end of September for its Gaza Emergency Food Program to meet the food needs of 1.1 million Palestinian refugees through the end of the year. The World Food Program also needs an extra $35 million to compensate for increasing commodity prices. More needs to be done to alleviate the humanitarian situation with the eventual goal a full lifting of the Israeli closures in line with Security Council Resolution 1860 of 2009. Only sustainable political solutions will relieve the pressure on the long-suffering people of Gaza. Efforts must also continue to encourage all Palestinian political factions towards political consensus in bringing Gaza and the occupied West Bank under one legitimate democratic Palestinian authority.